Visual Basic allows for drag and drop operations in a few different ways. In this demonstration, you'll see how to allow controls on your form to support drag and drop. By setting a control's property and including one line of code, the control can appear to move around the form. Let's add an image control to the application's form. When the control has been added, we'll set the drag mode property for the image to automatic. Now we'll set the picture property of the control. When we run our program, you can see how Visual Basic adds the outline of the control when we click and drag it around the form. However, until we add additional code, the object will not move to its new location. In order to enable that, we first have to decide which objects will be targets. Since the image will reside on the form, we want the form to be the target object. In this case, we'll add the appropriate code to the form's drag drop event. In the drag drop event, Visual Basic gives us the following arguments the control that's currently being dragged around, called the source, and the current X and Y coordinates of the mouse. You use the move method of the source object along with the X and Y values. Now, when we release the button during a drag, essentially dropping the control, the forms event will fire and this code will run. When we restart the program, we can drag the image around, and by releasing the button, it lands in the new location. The XY coordinates are based on the mouse's position, so the image won't move to the exact location. You need to add additional code to the drag drop event to better control where the image ends up. So, by setting a single property, Visual Basic controls can support drag and drop. However, to actually have the control get placed in its new location, you'll have to add additional code to the target's drag drop event. Note, however, that not all controls have this automatic support for drag and drop.